Hey guys, I'm gonna be showing you my do-it-yourself van life bed in great detail today and why I think it's more convenient than most other types of beds in van life. Amazon links are below in the description for almost everything I used in this entire van. Yo, so my name's Ryan and this is the house I built from an empty cargo van. I do actually currently live inside of this full time. Um, let's get started, I'm gonna show you the bed that I'm laying on. So first of all, this bed that I chose is a foam mattress bed. It has two different types of foam. So the first type of foam on the top, this is a softer material, it's much squishier, and it, um, you know, it kind of forms to your body more. And then this second type of foam down below, um, it's much more dense. Like if you were to put your, your uh, knee or something down into it, you wouldn't go all the way through to the wood below. And this has actually fixed um, some of my back issues. And then this is the same exact thing, uh, the back to the couch when it's up. If you were to have a uh, larger like bed spring mattress, then that thing would come up to about here. Well, why did I choose this type of bed over a lot of other types of designs? In van life, a lot of people choose to have the beds that, that extend out from below. They'll have the um, the interlocking wooden pieces that they'll make themselves and it'll extend out and then they'll just slide the mattress down onto it. Now, the reason I don't like that and the reason I did it this way is because I don't want that mattress to be squished up all the time during the day. This is two pieces. There's the bigger piece down here. This this um, big piece down here is actually the size of a twin bed all the way across and then um, when you add this it becomes a full bed plus another inch that way now doing it this way also allows me to pull this up and then I have it's a chest as you can see that's how I prop up my bed it's just a little stick that I put right here you can see how tall just the bottom of the bed is for storage and then this over here is actually left open so where I can get to clothes real quickly and then the other side is actually left open as well first built the van when I was first starting to build it there I had a bed that would go from that side all the way to this side so I would lay down this way not down this way it didn't really allow me to travel through here I found that I was too tall I'm 6'3 um, my feet couldn't properly you know extend off the bed I like it when my feet go otherwise they're up like this and that's no bueno so I'm going to show you quickly how to extend the bed. First, I take the pillow and put it up in an area that's not going to mess with anything. Then you would take this foam and put it right here. And then so you can get to this piece of wood. And then I will bring this down. Now you see there's rails right here. There's one rail right here and another rail that go all the way down except for right here. So I just pull that and put it in the spot. And it just falls in place and then there's a little cutout right here so the handle doesn't get hit and then um i just bring this down and, and then i'll bring this over because it's folded over and then i'll just put it over like so okay so there's a few perks to having a bed like this it's so big inside such a small van during the day I have a walkway, but at night I can have the comfort of a huge bed. As you see, the bed goes all the way to the very back. I could just lay and look off a mountainscape, look into the ocean or, you know, just wherever I'm parked. Um, and then there's my pillows right here. I have one pillow that just stays there and then the big pillow and then the body pillow um, that I'll sleep with. And, uh, you know, that's just that. Now the benefits of having a bed like this, I can actually sit down here, you can see in the mirror, um, I can just sit here and I can open the door and I can look out if uh, someone else wants to sit here while I'm driving, you know, without a seatbelt, good for them. But, you know, <laughs> the other thing, I can sit up here and cook, uh, you know, uh, if I wanted to, Indian style. And then I can also afterwards bring over this and wash the dishes after I cook. Indian style and then if I want to I can sit back put these pillows in such a way That I can lay back on them and then watch TV So another way to take advantage of this nice big bed in this tiny little van 
is to listen to music. I have uh, two of these speakers up here right over my bed um, and I have it switched on and I could just lay back uh, right here and you know listen to the music but I have this awesome little switch over here to put that on and I lay back and I just listen to the music. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to put the bed back up. Put this back over here, out of the way again. But instead, this time, I put this stuff over here. And just watch how quick this is. Put this, I just basically do it in reverse from before. I put, and I move this back up, which is not actually that heavy. I, I just wanna show you guys the um, construction of everything. I cut out pieces just to make it, um, you know, fit with everything. It's just plywood and regular uh, two by fours. And I put that in place, you know, it's just back, it's a real quick thing. And then the last thing I do, I put this back here and then um, I can sit back again. This material right here and this material right here, they're both bamboo. Now the good thing about bamboo and why you should use it too in your own van is because they're naturally antimicrobial, meaning that it's not going to stink up after a long period of use. This thing doesn't really seem to get dirty. If you really look at it, it's still very, very clean. It definitely still smells like it's new. Uh, and I've been living in this thing for seven months now and yeah, I've washed it of course. The other thing I have over here in this little corner right here. That's another comforter for the winter time. Um, if I really need it, if I get cold. By the way, where you get foam, you could go to um, foamfactory.com. That's www.foamfactory.com. I'm not like associated with them or anything. I just, that's where I went through. I don't get paid if you buy it. I just wanna share with you quickly the construction. So I have it up on its little stick right now. So as you see, this thing is over there. It can still fit back there, even though it's propped up. And that's because there's a flat part on the other side and then there's a hinge and then it goes up. I use the door hinges that you would use in a house. The, you know, they're nice, big and strong and it seems to work. So I have no concern or issues. Okay guys, so I promise you, if you buy and build a bed like this, you will not regret it. This has actually fixed all my back problems from when I was living in a house. I love this bed. It's actually the most comfortable bed I've ever owned. So if you've liked this video, go ahead and click subscribe below. Um, and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.